The thing about friends is they can always cheer you up. And it doesn't matter if you've been with them for 10 minutes or if you've been with them the entire night. I am now on my way to my friend's 25th birthday get together. I'm not too sure exactly what's going on. Um, I believe they've booked two apartments. Um, I'm not going to stay the whole night with them. I have prior engagements that are around about one or two o'clock in the morning. Um, so I'm not going to go and spend the entire night with them. But it should still be good. I haven't seen these guys all together in a while. And uh, it's just after Christmas. so. It's gonna be nice to see them all. About four hours later. About, yeah, about three hours later. And I will tell you about this adventure now. Now, actually getting there was a massive problem. I mean, I had such an adventure just trying to get to meet them. Um, I set up at about three o'clock and I didn't meet them till half past six. Um, and here's why. This is a lot longer than I thought. I mean, it said 40 minutes, and then like my sat nav took me on some weird random way that just had road closures. Um, so I had to like track back 10 miles. And I've been traveling for an hour now, and I've still got 60 miles to go. So I think on the way home later on tonight, M1 all the way down cut across the, uh, instead of going this like kind of diagonal route. When I arrived in Leicester, I ran out of battery on my phone and I didn't take a charger. I had to drive to a shop to go buy a charger, which didn't work on my phone. Well, instead of wasting more money, I decided to nip to a local supermarket and hopefully on their electronic section, they had like an iPhone plugged in. So I could just plug my iPhone in for like 10 minutes to get some charge. But this one superstar didn't have any. I was like, right, what do I do next? So I went to town and I thought, well, if I park up at a Groves and a Casino, I'd be able to use their free parking, get into like an Apple store or John Lewis or whatever. And again, plug my phone in for 10 minutes just to get enough charge to call my friends to see where they are. But the Groves and the Casino was like, have you got your card? I was like, no, I don't have it. Um, I need to renew it anyway. Um, so they renewed it and was like, are you actually going into a casino? I was like, no, I'm not going to the casino. I couldn't really lie to them. So they're like, well, you can't really park here. So I had to move my car. So I moved my car to an Iceland car park, which you had to pay for. Um, so I put some money on and you type in your registration number. But because I was in a rush, I typed in the wrong registration number. So I tried to like, mark it with my pen just to try and make it look like my registration number and thought right if I just be quick hopefully I'll get away with it. So I parked there, ran off to the Apple store um, after trying to find it because I have nowhere, I've never been to Leicester, I have no idea where anything is. Um, I finally found it, I plugged it in, it took like 15 minutes to half an hour to charge like 3%. So then um, I managed to quickly get a call in to my friend and found out that they had gone to this restaurant. So I was like, all right, well, I'll come and meet you. I'm just gonna go back to my car and go park it somewhere else. Went back to my car. I was running late now because it took me about half an hour just to find the Apple store and then um, obviously the charging and stuff. So I was running a bit late. Finally got to my car and I got away without a parking ticket. Um, by which point then I went and parked at another car park, which was like an automatic parking bay sensor thing. Um, but I was parked then, so that was good. Um, so I was parked. Right, go and get some food with my friends. Got to the restaurant and they had all finished eating. And I was just like, oh, I'm so hungry. Cause I've not eaten since 12. I've just had to rush around Leicester for three hours trying to find a place to charge my phone. So they'd eaten. The point is it didn't matter that they'd eaten. It was that I was with my friends now. And 
Even though I'd gone through all that stress for three hours trying to find a charger, trying to get parked and whatever, you know, there for five minutes and I was already kind of chilled and happy that I was with them. I then went and grabbed some food on the way and back to the hotel and everything was good. randomly managed to meet up with one of my friends from uni. Um, literally just stood in the club talking to my friends, looked to my right and then there's Joe, my mate from uni. So pretty random. Uh, he's just got back from Australia. I just bumped into Joe from uni, really random, the first time I've ever come to Leicester. And I put him into this guy. And he's still refusing to drink. Is he vlogging? Daryl's vlogging! Daryl's vlogging! So it's good to catch up and see what he's been up to since uh, graduating. The point of this is just to say, you know, always try and make time to see your friends when you can or to organise something where you can go and see your friends. Um, you know, and try not to make excuses for it because, you know, Friends are friends. Go. Go. Shit, she stopped working. This is how we do it. That's a traffic one. Yeah. They don't stop. Bye, James. Bye. Oh, that was shy. That was shy, Carol. <laughs>